Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course uh, Aspects of Biochemical Engineering. Uh, last uh, couple of classes, I, I mostly I discussed the theory part of uh, enzymatic reaction kinetics. We try to explain what do you mean by enzymes, how the enzyme substrate interaction takes place, what are the different inhibitions, all these things, and also we try to analyze the batch process, CSTR, and uh, plug to reactor and try to find out uh, that uh, what is the time required for batch reactor, what is the time uh, space time required for the CSTR, what is the space time required for plug to reactor. Now today um, actually uh, we are going to discuss uh, some problem because uh, uh, some uh, coming two lectures I will be concentrating on different problems that we uh, have. Uh, involved with different type of enzymatic reactions. Now, first problem that uh, I want to do, I want to discuss that is a very common problem that we have in the enzymatic reaction that uh, suppose we carry out any kind of reaction in a vessel. Now, question comes that uh, at different time of uh, reaction, what is the percentage of substrate converted? Now, how we can find out? Now, in my in my uh, previous lectures, uh, we we try to develop the correlation between the substrate concentration and time um, of reaction. That uh, correlation of enzymatic reaction we try to develop. Now, in this uh, particular uh, problem, we'll we'll see the application of that. How we can apply in the in the enzymatic reaction. The first problem that uh, I am going to discuss that is uh, that an enzyme with, with uh, enzyme with uh, with Km 1, 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles were assayed using the initial substrate concentration 3 into uh, 10 to the power 5 moles uh, substrate. After 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 5 percent of the substrate was converted. How much substrate will be converted after 10 minutes, 30 minutes and 60 minutes? So, in this problem, if you look at what is happening that we, we we know that this is the Michael Smentin equation we already discussed V equal to V max S K M plus S. Am I right? Now, uh, this is equal to velocity of reaction equal to minus d s by d t. Now, if you, from this we can we can we can develop this correlation. This is so. Uh, so, this uh, correlation, final correlation will be coming this uh, Km uh, that, uh, uh, that you know uh, D L N S and D S is 0 to S and V max 0 to T D T. And if you if you solve it, it will be S 0 minus S Km L N S 0 by S and V max. Now, in the problem what is happening that Km is given and S0 initial substrate concentration is given and 5 percent substrate converted in 2 minutes. So, time of reaction is 2 minutes and S value is the 5 percent. 5 percent means initial substrate concentration was uh, 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 moles. Am I right? If you multiply it, so how many substrate will be remain after the reaction? Reaction will remain is about 0.95, 5 percent substrate converted. So, we can multiply by 95, we will get the substrate conversion after the reaction is over. Yeah. 
Now next is that, so here uh, we, we from this we can find out the value of Vmax. We can we can find out this uh, value of Vmax. But next next problem that we have, that is that uh, we shall have to find out how much substrate converted, how much substrate converted uh, in 10, 10, 30 and 60 minutes. So, but now we, we know the KM value, we know the Vmax value and we have this correlation, am I right? So, what we can do, we can, we can here, we can uh, this x, x is equal to what? S0 minus S by S0. So, we can write in term of x, this is 1 minus S by S0, am I right? So, S by S0, I can write S0 equal to 1 minus x. So, a S equal to uh, S0, you know 1 minus x so we can you can convert this term in 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 the form of uh, s0 and x so you know if you can count then it will x what is x x is the nothing but uh, that uh, how much substrate that is converted s0 minus so that is exactly we shall have to find out how much substrate is converted Now here uh, we, we have uh, now we can put the put the uh, the values in this equation, and we can find out through the trial error method that we shall have to find out uh, at what value of x left hand side is required to right hand side, and we we find that uh, uh, that uh, after ten minutes that twenty three percent substrate converted. And similarly, if we calculate after 30 and 60 minutes, we will find 54 and the 80 percent substrate will be converted. So, this is, uh, this is a very uh, common uh, enzymatic reaction that we have and uh, uh, we can any kind of enzymatic reaction we can analyze and find out how much substrate will be converted at different time of uh, reactions. Now, next problem that I am going to discuss, uh, the following data were given uh, to obtain for a competitive inhibitor inhibition study in which I, I is the concentration of inhibitor and equal to 3 uh, micromolar uh, for, the, uh, for, the, for the determination of value of V in the presence of the inhibitor. Now, here I, I want to tell you a very interesting thing that we already discussed that in case of competitive inhibitor what I told you that uh, this is V and this is substrate, am I right? And this is, this is with the no inhibition. When there is no inhibition, then we have this plot. Now, in case of in competitive inhibition, this will be like this. So, at the infinite substrate concentration it will be becoming Vmax, this is equal to Vmax. So, v, the, we know in case of competitive reaction Vmax will remain constant and what the Km will uh, increases and if Km is increases the velocity of reaction will decrease. So, this is, uh, this is the, so in this problem uh, though we have this is no inhibition and this is inhibitor. So, you can see the nature of plot is given here. This is inhibitor and this is no inhibition that we have. Now, Vmax is given here, Vmax value is given 200 micromoles per minute um, for both data set and, uh, and determined what I shall, we shall have to determine value of Km for the data obtained in absence of the inhibitor and Km dash for the data obtained in presence of the inhibitor and calculate the value of Ki. So, three different uh, things we shall have to find out. We shall have to find out that Km value without inhibition and Km, as, uh, Km dash value with inhibition and Ki value uh, that uh, what you call uh, inhibition constant that we shall have to find out. And this is the common feature of any kind of enzymatic reaction. And let us see how we can we can find out these different values. Now, when you when you talk about the Km value, 
uh, we know what you know that when v equal to v max by 2, 2 then uh, your uh, s the substrate concentration is equal to k m value because uh, because i can i can show you that we have v equal to v max s k m plus s now when if we assume v equal to v max by 2 then what will happen this is v max by 2 am i right so this is v max by 2 into k m plus v max by 2 into s equal to v max s so i can i can bring it that side then we will find the k m is equal to s so now what is happening that in case of enzymatic reaction that the v equal to v versus s plot is like this without inhibition now we know this is this is v max value now this is half v max v max by 2 am i right so this is this value at this 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 substrate concentration this is equal to k m so we can we can easily find out the k m value from this particular plot this is exactly what we have done here that uh, uh, you know that uh, this is this is this is no inhibition this is no inhibition now in case of no and this is vmax and there is 200 is, uh, is the 200 micromoles per minute is the vmax value and so half of the this is 100 am i right so this is this values what is this value this is equal to 10 so this is exactly this is the 10 micromoles the what will be the km value that in this competitive uh, in uh, without inhibition that is the uh, 10 micromoles 10 micromoles okay now uh, let us see in case of the inhibition when inhibition that uh, the we have the plot is like this this is the inhibition plot now here uh, b, um, uh, that uh, half of the, in the inhibition because the we know vmax is constant because in case of competitive inhibition vmax is constant am i right now if if this is constant then this corresponding value here uh, how much is coming this is 30 micromoles micromolar this is exactly what we have written here the, so with inhibition the km value will be 30 micromoles without inhibition it should be 10 micromoles now next is that we shall have to find out the value of km so in case of uh, uh, competitive inhibition we know the km dash equal to km into this because uh, we can remember that uh, we do, we have shown this equation in case of competitive inhibition vmax s km 1 plus i by ki plus s am i right I told you when i equal to 0 it will be becoming the Michaelis Menten equation so this is actually the km dash value this is equal to km dash value so we have already calculated the km dash value is the 30 micromoles and km value how, how much we have calculated 10 micromoles so this we can write 30 micromoles 10 micromoles in this equation i i that inhibitory concentration is 3 micromoles that is given so we can easily calculate the ki value ki value is nothing but that uh, that uh, um, uh, equilibrium constant between the the enzyme and the inhibitor complex that you know that is the equilibrium constant this is ki value we can easily calculate so uh, in this particular problem what we try to find out we try to find out that uh, in case of competitive inhibition how we can determine the value of km, km how we can find out the new km value or due to inhibition and and from this uh, km value we can also determine the value of ki that is the equilibrium constant between the enzyme and the inhibitors now next problem
Next problem is also very interesting. If you look at a series of experiments were, were performed to determine the Ki values for three co competitive inhibitors. So, the following tables listed results are like this. The, this A inhibitor, B inhibitor, let us assume the three different inhibitors and they are competitive in nature and their Ki value is different. One is 1, one is, uh, one is 5, one is 1, another is 0 0.012. Now, what we shall have to find out which inhibitor binds with higher affinity with the free enzyme? This we shall have to determine. If the same concentration of inhibitor were used for each experiment, which inhibitor would give the smallest value of Km dash? That is the, that we shall have to find out. And if the value of Km is 1 micromole, what is the ratio of Ki by Km of the each inhibitor? And how this related in the co competing equilibrium for binding substrate versus the inhibitor to the enzymes? So, how, uh, how, uh, what is the, uh, we know that uh, during uh, discussion, uh, this, uh, discussing this competitive inhibitor, we come across different type of competitive inhibitor you might be knowing that one is uh, completely competitive inhibition and there is partially competitive inhibition. Now, in case of completely competitive inhibition, both inhibitor and substrate, they compete for the same active sites of the enzymes. But in case of partially competitive inhibition, the inhibitor compete other than the active sites of the inhibitor so that it makes some kind of conformational change of the active site so the substrate cannot interact with the enzyme. So, this is uh, this uh, the, the, that kind of things we want to find out how they compete with the active site, same active site that we are going to sort out here in this problem. So, <clears throat> the first uh, solution that if you look at that uh, the, uh, the first question that was uh, like this. First question was the which inhibitor binds higher affinity with the free energy? That you know we have three inhibitors that different Ki value where one is Ki value is high and the low and like this. So, so we know uh, it, since it is competitive inhibition again let me write Km equal to what? Km dash equal to what? Km plus I plus Ki. Am I right? So this is the this is the this is the equation that we have. Now that that the, the, the question is that if I value is the, the inhibitor with lowest value of I binds to the highest affinity, so the inhibitor C. That is the why if the I value is very low, then what will happen? This value will be high, and if this value is high, your inhibition will be more. So, so, so yeah, since Ki value in case of third inhibitor is Ki value is lowest, so we can always say inhibitor with the lowest Ki value binds with higher affinity with the, with the, with the active size of the enzyme. And uh, so, if you look at the second, the smallest value of K, K, Km value implies the weakest binding of inhibitor, the least amount of uh, of E, the inhibitor A would give the lowest value of Km dash. Obviously, if this value is high, then this value will be lowest. If you if you look at A, B, C, three inhibitor we have given in the in this problem, we have find the A has higher value of Ki. So, if the higher value of Ki is there, then in this case the Km dash value will be low. So, I can will always say that uh, smallest value of K, Km dash uh, value implies the weakest binding of inhibitor or least amount of competition with um, enzyme and inhibitor A, which will give the lowest value of Km. Now, third part is very interesting that uh, ratio of Ki and Km directly compares the binding constant both inhibitor and substrate. Let us say, let us take the example. Now, Ki, if Ki by Km ratio is very high. Now, Ki is very high as compared to then what will end the substrate binds tighter because Ki, Ki is very high 
then this will be very low am i right then substrate will bind with the with the with the enzyme so inhibition will not have much effect on the kinetics the substrate binding with, with the enzymes will be more so this is uh, this is very clear and when ki by km is equal to 1 then this is the situation where the substrate and inhibitor binds with the same affinity because then they are competing in the same way that in the when ki by km equal to 1 but when ki and km, km is less than 1 then then what will happen that uh, then km will be higher uh, as compared to ki uh, so, uh, so then what will happen the inhibitor binds greater affinity and so the stronger inhibition occurs in the kinetics so this is very clear because uh, the clear cut idea that we have now how ki and km contribute in the inhibition of the enzymatic reactions the in this case K, K, ki by km 5 1 and minus 2 for abc respectively thus as was in case of inhibitor c binds with the greater affinity and will have the greater effect mm, kinetics than than ab so you know that so this uh, this has this is clear from this that the inhibitor c had the greater mm, greater affinity and that uh, and will have the greater effect on the enzymatic kinetics so so i hope uh, this problem gives you how the inhibitor takes part in the enzymatic reaction and affects uh, affects uh, the enzyme inhibitor interaction enzyme substrate interaction how is affect now next problem I told you when uh, during my presentation that one of the application that we have in the uh, this inhibition of the enzymatic reactions uh, this uh, what is the application that we have I told you that uh, for the determination of complex organic molecules which is very difficult to estimate in the normal analytical techniques. I have given the example of pesticides, pesticides are very complex chemicals. And these pesticides uh, usually we estimated with the help of HPLC. HPLC we know that is a very sophisticated instrument. Now by using this uh, uh, enzymatic reaction kinetics, it is possible to determine the concentration of pesticide. Now this, this particular problem deals with that, that how <coughs> one pesticide had inhibited some kind of enzymes, let us assume A and how this uh, the inhibition helps you to find out the pesticide concentration in the in your sample <coughs> so let us go to this problem now here the pesticide the problem is given a pesticide inhibit the activity of a particular enzyme a which can therefore be used to assay for the presence of the pesticides in the unknown sample this is a because I told you besides that I told you that inhibition has also greater role to play in the medicinal sector because I told you that for the production of sulfur drug also this uh, enzyme can be largely used and also some other other uh, other purpose also it can be used now this is pesticide this is uh, this is this problem deals with how the pesticide concentration can be determined now in the laboratory the initial red data is shown in the table were obtained and is the pesticide a competitive non-competitive inhibitor and evaluate the value of ki vmax and km so you know that that <coughs> here i want to tell you that we have already discussed that competitive inhibition and competitive inhibition How we can find out the competitive inhibition nature with the help of line waiver work plot. Uh, what is the line waiver work plot? This is nothing but 1 by V versus 1 by S. Am I right? So if you, if you have V, the, this is the Michaelis Menten equation S. Km plus S. Now, if you write 1 by V, 
then we can write k m by v max equal to 1 by s plus the 1 by v max ok. Now, here so uh, in case of no inhibition this is no inhibition in case of no inhibition you have this plot am I right. But uh, we know the uh, from this equation we know the slope is nothing but equal to k m by v max am I right and this intercept is 1 by v max. Now, in case of in case of competitive inhibition uh, this will be what this will be like this where 1 by v max will be intersect the point of intersection will be same, but slope will be different and uh, this v max is constant. So, so what we shall have to find out we shall have to in this uh, in this particular problem uh, we can uh, we can in this particular problem we can we can find out that uh, we can find out that uh, uh, that uh, what is the uh, what is the nature of plot and from the nature of plot we can find out whether the nature is coming the line over the back plot if it if it comes like this if it comes like this the, the sorry this is not this should go in the, through the point of intersection is like this then we call it competitive inhibition but in case of non competitive inhibition situation is different this uh, here it will be like this so this uh, point of interception intersection uh, that uh, this uh, inter, this point of uh, intersection that will be different this uh, this v max so this v max and this v max uh, so, this in case of inhibition competitive non competitive inhibition this will be higher since 1 by v max is higher then v max will be will be smaller will be smaller ok. Then in case of non competitive inhibition that we can find out. So, uh, so uh, this way what that is exactly we shall have to do from the from this uh, problem that we shall have to find out that uh, what is the nature of the of the slope and from this uh, slope we can find out whether it is competitive inhibition what is non competitive inhibition. Now, in case of competitive inhibition we know the equation rate equation and we know in case of non competitive inhibition we know the rate equation. So, if we use that rate equation then we can find out the value of k i v max and k m this value we can easily calculate. Now, second problem is very interesting. The second part what is saying that 50 milliliter of the same enzyme solution of part A mixed with 50 milliliter of the substrate and 25 milliliter of the sample. The initial rate observed that is the 18 millimoles per liter per minutes. What is the pesticide concentration of the unknown sample assuming no other inhibitor? or substrate present in the sample. Now, what does it mean? Because you it, let us try to understand what is saying that 50 milliliter of the of the enzyme solution am I right enzyme solution same enzyme solution is mixed with 50 milliliter of substrate am I right and 25 milliliter of sample sample mean pesticide sample. So, what is the total volume is coming 125 milliliter am I right. So, when we use this enzyme solution what will be dilution we have the dilution is 50 by 125. So, whatever activity we have that is to be that concentration we have substrate concentration we have that is to be multiplied by this factor then and only then you will get the exact substrate concentration and then we can we can we can find out the uh, the the exactly what is the inhibitor concentration let us see how we have solved that now in this michaelis menten equation in the line of a back plot we have 1 by v equal to 1 by v max came v max is this like this now
Now, we have, when we plot it in this uh, graph paper, uh, we have we have come across the, this kind of uh, 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 plots. Now, this is with inhibition. This is uh, this color indicate this is this is inhibition and this is without inhibition. Now, now it is clear from this uh, uh, graph that this is the, the example of competitive inhibition. Am I right? This is the example of competitive inhibition. So, in case of competitive inhibition, what is the equation we have? V equal to V max S K M 1 plus I by K I plus S. Am I right? So, now, now our situation is very simple. From this uh, inter interaction, we can easily find out the uh, this uh, no inhibition, we can find out the value of V max and K m. And from this interaction, we can find out the new K m value. And once we K m value, we, we find out, we can easily find out because this is the, 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 K, m, uh, the K m dash value. This is K m, K m dash value equals equal to what? K m plus 1 plus by K i. Am I right? Now, here, we this is the this uh, we can directly find out this is one by this is with inhibition we can find out this is one by k m value this is and with inhibition this is without inhibition so we don't have to calculate the from this uh, directly from the uh, from the graph we can have these values and put it and find out the value of k i k i is not very difficult to estimate now then. Uh, uh, the next part, uh, next part, as I told you, the last part is very interesting. That you have to find out what is the pesticide concentration. Am I right? Now, <coughs> in the uh, the the substrate concentration is given here. But only the thing is, this is the substrate concentration, and this will be multiplied with the dilution factor, 50 by 125. Then we will get this, and then velocity of reaction is this. Then we put uh, put this uh, in this equation. We find this uh, this equation. We have we know the value of S. We know K M, V max value, K M value, K I value. You know so uh, S value. You know so I value. We can easily find out, and we find I value is this. So uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, this uh, this uh, uh, from this equation, uh, but actual pesticide concentration will be what? Actual pesticide. If we find out from this I value is this, actual pesticide actual actual value of pesticide side will be what? This will be 3.77 into 10 to the power minus 5 m into 125 by 50. Because why we have multiplied by this? Factor because initially the we we because your 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 pesticide solution also diluted. Am I right? The, so what a, what a, but no. The, I sorry I I did the mistake. In case of pesticide, uh, the dilution factor will be little bit higher because we have used the 25 milliliter. Am I right? The 25 milliliter means this is to be multiplied by 25. Then you will you will get the exact pesticide concentration that we have in the sample. So, this is how we can we can easily find out that uh, the concentration of uh, pesticide in an unknown sample. So, uh, today in this particular lecture, we try to cover that how we can find out that uh, the substrate concentration at different time of reaction. Then, we, we, we have uh, done some kind of detailing on that how we f how the interaction between inhibitor and substrate uh, 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 can be determined with the help of ki values different type of ki value and finally we uh, we try to find out how the concentration of pesticide can be uh, determined with the help of enzymatic reaction thank you very much